Hey guys, if you're remote learning or homeschooling this year, I am so glad you are here. Love organizing and affordable DIYs, but for those of you who didn't know, I was a classroom teacher for almost 10 years and absolutely loved it. And I have felt such a sense of overwhelm from the community. Lots of us, especially with kids in the early elementary ages, are trying to be mom, we're trying to be babysitter, we're trying to teach from home, many of us are trying to work, and it is a lot. So I wanted you to leave this video with some super easy ideas you could implement right away. First is to set up some sort of learning space to help keep you organized and your kids grounded. I have a whole video about this if you wanna check it out. But this doesn't have to be big or fancy. I've worked with lots of clients who just use their dining room table and have a cubby system set up for all of their supplies. Some people use a wheelie cart. The idea is ideally your child wouldn't be working in their bedroom because that's where they sleep so kids can move around a bit, they can get their energy out, and they can find a spot that works best for them depending on what the lessons are that day. Next is to have some sort of structure for your day, and this is the Do It On A Dime printable binder. It's just a couple of dollars, about the cost of a cup of coffee, but even if you don't wanna get my printable, you can still take some of these ideas and use them. One of the biggest things I learned teaching was that 75% of what I did was classroom management and 25% was actual teaching. And kids do really well when they know what's expected of them. I love this behavior chart. In the morning, you start in the middle, and then when you stay on task, you get to chip up using a clothespin. And I'm so excited. This is part of the printable pack. If you end the day on an outstanding, that's how you earn your screen time. It literally is the only thing that's worked for me as a mom. I'm a huge proponent of kids helping in the classroom or space with daily tasks. And I love writing them out so kids know what's expected of them. And this list you can actually check off just with a dry erase marker on page protectors, or you knew it was coming, go to the Dollar Tree and get one of these little sheaths and kids can check it off throughout the day and you can temporarily hang them on your wall. You can also buy laminators, which are so cheap. I highly recommend them. And I'll be sure to link mine down below. It's just about 20 dollars. I am also a huge fan of the block schedule. Designated times during the day for learning and for play, especially if you're trying to get work done too. Consistency really helps kids. In the printable pack, I also included a planning page and a note page if you have a sitter helping your kids and important dates to remember. Those simple things to help keep you on track. I also included some motivational posters. This one is my favorite. It's something I say to my kids every morning before they go to school. I think that normalcy is really important because this year is starting off so different. When you have a basic sense of expectation and a structure for the day, then as you're working, you can start to find the rhythm of what works for your family. And it might look totally different from what somebody else is doing, but that's okay. You're finding what works for you, your work, and your kids. So this is something I always had in my classroom and it's really worked well at home too. We actually have multiple kids who will be over at our house. Just a busy box of things. All of these books came from the Dollar Tree. So if some kids get done before other kids, they have something to do. Thank you guys so much for being here. You are enough, you've got this, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. So I didn't know if I initially wanted to share this, but when I really thought about it, I realized how important that it was. So at the end of last year, I really struggled to teach my children. I felt overwhelmed, exhausted. The things I would say to myself were things like, why can't you do this? Catherine, you have a master's in education and you are struggling to teach your kids. What is wrong with you? But. There's an amazing woman, her name is Christina Kuzmik. She's mostly on Instagram and Facebook, but she also has a YouTube channel. And she posted a video that completely changed the way I think. She says to get an old photo album and take a picture of yourself. And I suggest that it be a picture of yourself at your kids' ages. Here's mine, this is me going into second grade. And she said, take all of those things that you say to yourself those negative things, those berating things, and look at this picture and say it to that little girl. Because none of those things are what I would tell her. 
I would tell this girl, you've got this. You can do this. We're in this together. You are doing the best job that you can. Talk to yourself like a friend. Talk to yourself the way that you encourage your kids. None of this is gonna be easy. Believe me, I'm probably gonna be crying and eating Ben and Jerry's in my closet at some point during this year, and I hope you're right along with me and tell me so. There's gonna be stuff that's challenging, but we can do it. I'm so grateful for you, and I really hope that that impacted you the way that it did me.